Welcome to Samara Bot Tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how you can add automated account number into your platforms. Here we go. Now, if you click on fund, let us try fund button here, and we have um, bank transfer. You can see. So this testing means. Let me see my account number. I, I'm supposed to put there, so I just put testing. Okay. So now the account number. Let me let me explain it again from this place. On that menu, we go to app configuration, VTU and payment setup. Now this is the test. Let us as my put maybe Kuda my account. No, 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 no. Let me use maybe UBA my account number. This, this account name testing. Okay, so. And click on save let's check how it works you know on this place if customer wants to send you money and they choose bank transfer you can see that the account number so after they've sent you money you just type and uh, the customer will just type the amount he sent date and then send the id then click on send proof so that you receive the proof through your email address but that is a long way long journey Okay, so but in this video, I will teach you how you can add automated account number so that each customer will be given account number and each time they send money into it, they will be created automatically. Okay, so now let me explain how it works and how to do that. You click on menu, you go to go to add-on panel. You can see it here, add-on panel. After that, click on plus then look for CUDA because the automated automated account are CUDA account numbers so look for CUDA or if yeah, yes if you know about Monify this is Monify you can actually use Monify but if, before you use Monify you go to monify.com get your accounts verified after you have verified your account you click on configure you firstly click on click on this plus sign so that you can install Monify into your platform. Monify will generate you Wema accounts and Sterling accounts, depending. So, and then this uh, your customer can still make use of the Wema account to fund their wallet automatically, or use the Sterling account to fund their wallet automatically. It is it's still the same way with this code that I want to explain. So, but Monify, you click on configuration here, go to your Monify under settings you go to the webhook then copy this url there paste this url there after you've done that make sure your monify account is verified and is activated so once it is live you put your api key you put your contract code you see everything under settings in your monify account you put the secret key how much in form okay so how much is the charge you want to charge the customer 15 error you can edit it is it in naira or is it in percent so you can put it there that is how my monify works now how you now get the money your customer send into the monify account you go to your monify dashboard i think they do remit money uh, by 10 pm upwards so you go to your monify dashboard and withdraw the money okay so you can see the process you undergo here by putting all these details but if you use CUDA let me click in the uh, CUDA does not have any anything like uh, button configuration button no 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 process than just to click on this plus once you click on this plus it will start working immediately okay so now let us check the charge of this CUDA 1% charge from 1 Naira to 999 Naira 15 error charge from 1000 error upwards. But how about Monify? Let us check Monify. On Monify that on Monify website, I think they are charging one point something like that on any amount. On any amount. But and then they capped it at I don't know their current rate. Now you can go to their website, go to, go to pricing so that you know the highest money they remove. So, for example, if they, if they say they cap it at 1,000 Naira, so it means even if they are removing the back, the percentage, the percentage will not pass 1,000 Naira. 
for example if a customer sends our funds one million naira and if they take if they want to take that one percent if that one percent is more than one thousand naira they will forget the remaining and just charge you one thousand naira let me know cap at one thousand naira. it means the charges cannot exceed one thousand naira. even if the customer send 10 million they cannot remove more than one thousand naira on it okay so now let us check this CUDA if you send like one million into your CUDA account how much will be the debit how much will be the charge the charge will still remain 15 naira. as you can see 15 naira charge from 1000 naira upwards one percent charge from 1000 naira to 999 naira i think this is the best option for me so let me click on plus on that CUDA installed okay so let me go to my customers app or my customers website the same because what i just did on that could i done it will reflect on my website and on my app so if you are using your app just refresh you see your account details if you are using the app just refresh so let me click here there's no okay i have not refreshed so let us refresh and see if the account number has been generated wow very fast so the account number is here okay so the account number is here and then when you just copy the account number you paste it and you sorry you copy the account number go to your banking app and send money into the CUDA account so by doing that once you send money there it will be added to this place it will be added to your wallet but how about the um, the platform owner you as a platform owner what will happen so them that same money i mean the amounts you your your customer was credited with will also be added into this your api wallet okay so if your customer sends one uh, one thousand error you know one thousand error uh let's say one thousand or fifteen error so it should be a one thousand will be added to the customer's wallet and one thousand will be added to your own wallet too in this place that is how it works thanks for watching